Hello and welcome back to New Year New Game. This is game 67, Lawn Mowing Simulator. I'll tell you right off the bat, I, I gave the game a mid. Just because this particular game isn't really my kind of game. I didn't really enjoy going around on the lawn mower and mowing the lawns and you know hitting it with the trimmer and things like that. Something about it just wasn't as satisfying as like Power Wash Simulator. Where you're going around and kind of cleaning up the locations and things like that. That had a little more like satisfaction to it compared to this game. Because this is the only simulation game other than Beast Simulator that we did earlier. But it doesn't, doesn't compare to these two games that uh, I've played to compare Lawn Mowing Simulator to. So that's kind of where the bar was for that. Is it over or under when it comes to Power Wash Simulator? And it's under. It was under. Um, as for like replayability for myself personally, I don't see myself going back and playing the game again, just because I it wasn't satisfying. It wasn't interesting. It just meh. it's a relaxing game for sure. Going around, I mean, I get kind of like nervous around the edges because I don't want to damage flowers or anything like that. So, I guess there's that. That gave you that kind of extra nerve like a uh, little butt clench going around don't want to damage this flower whereas with like power washing simulator you don't have that it's just clean the grime that's it there's no hey watch out don't wet that kid standing over there which <laughs> i would fail every time right in the face every time just whoosh. ah off the bike i imagine they're, they're riding their bike when they come by <laughs> Bang. Falls over, cries, I laugh, I'm the terrible person. You're not wrong. They are not wrong. Anyways. Yeah, so the game was mid. Not for me. Could be for you. There are people out there who like the simulating games. And I do still have more simulating games to play within this year. And hopefully we're going to be getting to those. I'm sure we will. There's just games that I've been putting off. I don't want to name them. Just because I don't want to spoil any like later videos that are going to be coming out. Or even say things like, we're going to be playing this game. And if at some point I decide I'm not wanting to complete the year. Not doing that. But we're 67 videos strong. I don't feel like stopping. Which is honestly surprising for myself. That two months already has gone by. Over two months now. And I'm still like, yeah. I want to keep doing this. I want to keep releasing videos of games that I've never played before. I like the fact, too, that other people are seeing them. Other people are commenting on them because they're these are games that they like. And I like having conversations with other gamers just about with games that they like, that they enjoy playing. I like hearing kind of like passion stories of games that they enjoy. I just finished a collection for Dot Hack, Infection, Mutation, uh, Outbreak, Quarantine on the PlayStation 2. And I shared that to the PS2 Reddit. And from there, it spurred so many conversations of people who remembered the game, people who played the game, people who want to go back to play the game, and people who can't go back to play the game. Because of how expensive games three and four are, and they were, Oof. it was it was a very hurtful damage to uh, to the funds to the game funds. But I'm gonna be happy when I get back to streaming that and just enjoying a part of my kind of teenagehood, I should say. It was a little after the childhood at that point, but we're not here for that. Lawn mowing simulator. That's what I'm going to be playing, and I hope that you enjoy Lawn Mowing Simulator here on New Year New Game. Time to start a new career. We're going to play with tutorials, because I have never played this game before. Play Power Wash Simulator, so maybe this is similar to that. Let's get started, career mode. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name 
logo, and uniform. I think we should just... Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Company name. We're going to be... True Born Mowing. Our company uh, name. Done. Company logo. Where is this? Right here. There we go. Perfect. And then our player. Player appearance. Career mode. On this screen you can customize your in-game appearance of your player avatar. As well as their physical appearance. You can change the colors of the company uniform. And where your company logo is displayed. Isn't that just neat? can change the hat. Oh, wow. They got everything in this game. Uh, player name. Do need to have a name. This is, uh, clearly, this is Atlas. The first. We have all these different avatars that we can choose from. I think we'll just keep with the one. It's not what I want to do. Change the hat. Hat color. What we can change it to. Blue, dark blue, darker blue. Uh, logo placement is completely fine. Uniform colors, black and blue. I like it. We look great. Let's go. Let's accept this. Let's start test drive. Now you have a company of your own. You will need your first vehicle to be cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below. And take it for a test drive. Oh my goodness. Test driving mowers. What? Uh, let's see. Collector type deck. This vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means as you cut with it, the grass clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine. Or your hopper is full. Isn't that great? Uh, this vehicle is equipped with a side discharge type deck. That means as you cut with it, grass clippings are discarded from the side chute. When cutting with these types of decks, always keep in mind the direction you're mowing to avoid dropping grass piles on paths and flower beds. And then this vehicle is equipped with a mulcher type deck. That means as you cut with it, the grass clippings are cut so small, no visible blades are left. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine, which will mean the deck doesn't have the power to cut the grass blades. In all honesty, I think that one sounds better. So, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that one. Let's, uh, let's go take this bad boy for a test drive, shall we? This could be just the lawnmower for me. The perfect fit. The one that we have all been looking for. DLC for the Dino Safari. Where you too can cut grass. At a dinosaur amusement park. We know that the dinosaurs are actually real. And will not chase you. They will just be statues in your way. Ah, oh, yeah. I need that to crack. Welcome to the Just Drive area. Here you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get in on it. Use WASD to move and the mouse to look around. Look at that. I, I own this truck too. Is that a nice truck? Unless that's my car. I drove that here. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Once you are on your vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Hold Z. Start the vehicle's engine. Ah, he started. Oh no. Oh no. My controller's vibrating. Yep, we're just gonna unplug that. <laughs> Resume. Uh, use I and T to change the vehicle's throttle. Where's, where's it at? I, T. Use E and C to change the cut height. E, C, 
Uh, I see where we lower. Does it show cut height on here? Yeah, it does. Okay. We want it low to the ground. Use Q to lower and raise the cutting deck. Use Z to engage and discharge the cutting blades. There it is. Are they going? Uh, with the vehicle, start to take the moment to get used to it, and then drive over the grass, the cutting. Did press C. There we go. Okay. There we go. Don't need to cut the grass here. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna cut our first grass. All right. After this cutscene, or little little prompt that came up that ruined the moment. Once on the grass, you need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height, and then engage the cutting blades. You should only ever turn on your blades when on grass; otherwise, you will damage them and affect their ability to cut. When on contracts, you will be required to cut the grass to a certain height. Each contract will have its own height. The grass needs to be cut too. Set your cut height within the range of 5 centimeters to 6 centimeters, then cut 20% of the grass. While cutting, you can track your progress with the bar on the top right. Progress bar shows how much of a required amount you have cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills the bar. White grass that is cut too short. Fills the bar with red. Well, alright. So between... Five and six. There we go. Oh, people must have been throttling too hard. Gotta take it easy on this old girl. Oh. She's trying to look around. <sighs> Don't want to burn it out. That's one, uh, one mechanic I'm not a big fan of. Bushes. <laughs> Don't know why I just all of a sudden. Yarrr. Overloading your engines, slow down or increase what? Increase your cut height. Just six centimeters instead. By holding control while stationary, you can engage in pro view, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. This is useful for when you're trying to find the last bits of grass to cut to complete a contract. Okay. And since we only have to do 20% of the grass in this tutorial, I'm not going to worry about being uh, even.
Well, I could always turn my throttle down too. I'm trying to remember which one was throttle. C and E is how to do that. It's a T and I. Yeah, I and T. Except for it just goes immediately to that. And then just cuts it. Okay. See if the throttle's too low. So it has to be high. We're learning. We're learning how to do everything. Take out that little fancy design there. have inverted. Yep, down is up, up is down. Know how it goes. Get off some of their bushes. They don't need the bushes, right? Let's just go straight for them. Oh. Alright, well, bushes are stronger. Just gonna peruse around the outer edge here. Get it all nice and chopped. I think by turning and everything, it's kind of... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, I spoke too soon. I think it's uh, working with the throttle to where we're not overheating ourselves too much, but nope, I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. Just got to keep my eye on that. on nice days this probably wouldn't be so bad to do as a business when you live in the desert like I do spring and summertime I wouldn't want to be out there doing this it's hot triple digit weather good Go get this side that's not cut. Gotta make sure we cut this grass just you know, fine and dandy. All fine and dandy like.
Don't want to overload our engine. There we go. Contract progress. Great work. In real contract, however, you'll be expected to cut all the grass. When a contract has been complete, you now have to store your vehicle on the trailer and then interact with your pickup truck to leave the location. So that's what we're going to do. Just want to stop the blades. We want to pick them up. But no, let's go. Let's go. Let's leave. Just going to drive away now. Wish my throttle had more than just one, uh, one, one choice. Just fast. Maybe I should shut this off. You want to get off your vehicle for any reason, press and hold the cue. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's right. We're... We're in the place where you drive on the wrong side of the road. That's right, I said it. Uh, purchase vehicle. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle. Or, if you'd like, you can test drive one of the other available vehicles. No, no, no. I think this is what we're gonna do. Achievement unlocked, the dream begins. Uh, purchasing string trimmer. While a mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are perfect for lawn edges and cutting around obstacles. Contracts require you to have a mower and a string trimmer to complete them, so you need to purchase a string trimmer now. Let's get the cheaper one. Yeah. Time to select a contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Alright, contract setup. Once you select a contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee, vehicle, and equipment. Select either the employee, vehicle, or equipment option to the left. The employee, me. Contracts need an employee assigned to them to be attempted. At the minute, the only employee you have is you. But that will change as your company grows. Highlight yourself and then confirm the assignment to the contract. Then we do our vehicle. Yep. To get how that works. Uh huh. Beautiful. We can confirm now. As you set up and confirm contracts, the pin on the map will turn yellow, and the contract that you are assigned to will have a start star display. With the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location and begin cutting. Let's go. Let's get going. Let's, let's go do this. Do this thing. There's like garden gnomes and hoses in the way. Ground check phase. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass area. They could be either be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower or equipment. But this will mean you don't earn money or RP. Really? Yeah, all these flowers gotta go. 
You. Out of here. You. Out of here. Out of here. Another box around. Yeah, we can sprint too. Paper. Let's see something up ahead of me here. Dog do. I'm pretty sure it was a dog. That was a pretty, pretty stringy poo. Alright, ground checks complete. Let's get to our vehicle. We're going to be cutting James Bond's lawn, so that's cool. Uh, with the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting some grass. You can use either your streamer or vehicle, whatever you want. Streamers are best for cutting the edges and any tar tight areas, while your vehicle is best for large open areas of grass. Hold Z. There we go, let's pick that up. Uh, let's see. Doesn't say what height they want. Use I, T. Get our throttle going. Get up, what are you doing? Let's see, we'll keep it at six centimeters. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money and RP you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quick to earn a time bonus. Yep. And then we use that to engage. Back up to get that little bit there. Make sure I'm not too close to the flower bed. Getting pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. Grab an apple off a tree. I'm sure we're not getting like perfect, but that's okay. Same with like the opening there coming in and out. We get it on the next way around. Or we come with our little, what was it, stringer? String chopper that we have. We'll use that. Do any of the cleanup. Can't see the tree. Oh, didn't realize we were overheating there. Got to keep an eye out for that. Don't want anything happening to our new mower that just got it. Just got it. Don't have any music. Can't play any music anyways. I have already had three of my videos copyright stroke. Because it had music inside of the game. You see the little lo-fi music that I play at the beginning. 
that are mainly in the background. Because if it's not the main menu music to the game that I'm playing, it's no copyright lo-fi beats. However, in the game itself, there will be music that is played that they have the license and rights to for their game that, uh, unfortunately, can't be streamed or anything like that, which is weird to me. Because they already got the okay for it to be included in the game. We are playing said game that has the okay. But because we are not said company, who was given the okay, we can't do that. Mind you, we are not a company. YouTube's a company. Uh, motor overload, your vehicle motor load... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Your vehicle's motor load is displayed in the bottom right of the screen. If you overload it by driving too fast and cutting too much grass at once, you'll suffer engine damage and your cut quality will be affected. Cutting when overload will leave behind blades of grass uncut, then to be cut again. And on vehicles with collectors or mulchers slash recycle kits, grass pods will be left. Okay, so... You know, gotta, gotta watch ourselves. So yeah, the video I did with lakes, when you're driving around in the uh, postal delivery van, there's a radio that plays on there, and then music that plays, which I did not realize is, thought it was just like music created for that game. Nope. It's an actual artist song and everything like that. So those got copyrighted. It doesn't affect my channel in any negative way, though, which is good. Just because I've got 31 subscribers now, which is awesome. I love the fact that I have the uh, as many subscribers as Baskin Robbins as flavors of ice cream. That's always great. And yeah, yeah, I tweeted that. I did tweet that. Thought it was a funny joke, and I was like, this one is gonna kill put it out there. But Lakes got hit with a copyright strike. It didn't say it affected anything. I just left it as is. Um, I'm not monetized in any way. I do not make money in any way. So, I don't think it really mattered. Now, once I do get monetized... That's going to be a little different story. I'm sure I'll probably have to edit those videos or do something with them. And then the next one was, and I can't even remember the name of it, it was a JRPG. Uh, song Remnants or something like that. There's a scene where like a uh, Japanese song comes on. I'm just gonna do this. And it's got the care one of these characters up top kinda like singing the song. Thought it was an original song for this one particular video game. It is not. And so uh that got copyright struck. Bit of a bummer. But not too too much of a bummer, because again, didn't affect my channel. Just got hit with that. So whatever happens there, happens there. And then Need for Speed Heat got hit with a copyright strike. Something that I even mentioned in the, the video. Going, oh, if this has a radio that plays actual music, I'm going to have to mute it or turn it down so that way it doesn't get hit with any types of copyright strikes. And I didn't have it down low enough. I didn't recognize most of the songs that were being played there, so I thought they were just kind of unique to the game kind of songs. Nope. They're not. So that guy also got hit with a copyright strike. So, gotta remember that when playing games, if there's music, which is surprising because there is music in the Saints Row 2 game. No copyright strikes. I played music in the Saints Row 2 game, did not receive a copy strike game. So, I don't know. Maybe it's only, like, for certain dates. 
And that game's so old, it's grandfathered in. You know, we're doing pretty good. We haven't taken any batch of flowers out. So that's a plus, right? I do see that we do have some uh, grass that we are leaving behind. Which, it's okay. When we come back, we can hit it. Hit it a little later. But I'm, oh no! Oh no, we destroyed a flower! Just as I was saying, we are doing such a great job. Well, luckily it was just one flower. Hardly noticeable. I'm just gonna go around again. Didn't really get uh, too much in line there. Didn't hit the flower though. Did not hit a flower. That's the important part to point out there when I'm explaining to this person how nice their lawn looks. That's gonna be a tight turn, of course. Uh, this is all just not organized at all. Perfect. All, all wonderful and perfect. Just cleaning, cleaning all that up. There you go. I'd say this side's pretty well done, except for over here. Which we're just gonna zoom in. Zoom out. In. Out. In again. All right. We're fine. We're all good. Everything's wonderful. We didn't run over a flower. I find the whole reason of copyrighted music to be kind of silly. Mainly because it just seems greedy, in my opinion. 
it seems more along the lines of like the uh, record companies, kind of the ones who enforce this, as opposed to the artist. I had a history teacher in high school who was friends with a member of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and met him at a bar. I don't want to say like, oh, they're friends, they're really close. Met him at a bar, had a drink with them. And this was like during the time of like the height of Napster, where people were downloading music. And they said, you know, in all honesty, don't care that our music is getting downloaded free think it's cool that it's getting out there and it's getting them more fans and more recognitions more people going to their concerts things like that you know getting their name out there because uh, social media at that time was kind of scarce yeah, I think you had MySpace and that was it <laughs> maybe uh, LinkedIn no, I think there was another one I forget what the other one's called it's just an older one but anyways, said it was more the record companies that were making the decision of doing that. And less the decisions of the band members who were doing that. Ground damage? What? You managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. Ground damage is caused by turning your vehicle at full lock. For extended periods of time, ground damage will end penalties and fines with some locations. Finding higher amounts than others. Oh! Oh, I did not know that. My apologies. Should not have done that. Look at that ground damage. Oh, terrible. Guess we'll just come swing back around then. Yeah, copywriting a YouTube video that has music from a particular artist. Their argument essentially being that the only reason people are tuning in to that video is because their music's in there. So, that's why and some people, some artists, don't want their music associated with certain people who stream. Because of different beliefs and viewpoints, I'm sure. Where's my cat? Cat is at the floor. There we go, hit some patches of grass while we're over here. Got about 97.8% of the uh, grass done. Let's get this. Get that bit. 97.9. Don't you know where there's another patch somewhere around here I think. I know there's this over here. I think that's about all the large patches. I don't see any other ones. So I think I'm gonna go get the small bit. Do some little fine dandy touch-ups. Uh, turn that off. So 
hold Q? Yeah. Alright. Let's grab this. String trimmers are great for cutting along edges of lawns, up against objects, or in tight spaces. Use left click, press and hold. Sounds easy enough, right? I forget which button it is that you can press. I just gotta go like back and forth. It's like the little design it's left in the grass. Pretty sure I'm not hitting the flowers. Oh yeah, it's a large, large amount here. Did not notice any of this. No, don't hit the flower. We touched it. I have a lot of rocks in my lawn. We have one of these. And I was using it to get some of the weeds in the back. <laughs> and... I press F to pick up grass. And as, uh... I was... Working back there. I, like, lifted the thing up. And then back down. And it caused, like, this spinning whirl thing of just rocks that just go <laughs> and fling everywhere. So it flung up all against uh, my neighbor in the back there. Up against their house. Didn't break anything. It just kind of hit the house a bit and I was like, yeah, oh, maybe I should not be doing this. It's tough when you got like rocks in your yard and you do some lawn care. Usually, like, the roots of the weeds aren't too, too strong, so they're kind of easy to pull out. But when you leave them for so long, because I am a terrible procrastinator, they, uh, they dry out. Like, the ones in the backyard especially, because that's in the sun 24-7, and I live in a desert. So, on top of them not getting, like, any water back there, because we don't have a sprinkler system back there. It's just rocks. We're not going to water our rocks. But, uh, they just, they grow. They'll stay green for a little while. If there was any rain or anything like that that happened, they'll stay green. They're, and then, uh, and they just dry up. And then that's when it becomes real tough to get them out. So that's why I took this little trimmer and went back there to try and uh, get rid of them. And they're, they're not too, too big, so they're pretty low to the ground, so that's what caused the little influx there. Did I leave any grass that I have to pick up? No? Alright. Like, I would absolutely enjoy having a grass like, or a lawn like this where it's nice and green and things like that. But outside isn't always pleasant. <laughs> and, uh, lawn care is a lot of work. And it's a lot of work that I really don't want to do. And don't want to pay someone to do. 98.9. Where else is there? Forget the button that I'm supposed to press. 
But I'm almost positive it's like all this area around here. Yeah, right here. What makes this not so much like... Ugh, lawn work. Is the fact that it's in a video game. And it's not triple digits outside. I did pull some weeds today, though. And it was actually really, really nice outside. We have a wheelchair ramp where, uh... Weeds will grow underneath it, and I can't really get underneath it. Cutting complete. Hey, with the cutting complete, you now need... Store your vehicle and equipment... Then interact with your pickup truck to leave location. Cool. Pick up anything. Alright. That's the job well done. Did leave a mark in their lawn, damaged a flower. I'm just gonna get this bit here. <laughs> just continue damaging all their flowers. Uh, put you back. It's 11 cents for fuel. It's not a lot. There we go. Doesn't that garden, the old the cottage garden, look beautiful? That is very nice looking. For, uh, a 3D rendering of a yard. So nice. Job well done. I feel proud of myself for having cut that. Uh, ground check time bonus, ground check earnings. Cutting time bonus. Nice. Valuables recovered. Nothing. Uh, penalties and fines. And only 2 and 26 is not bad. Ground objects destroyed. None. Flowers. We took out one, so it went down $1. Uh, collision. That was 1.25. Ground damage. One cent. <laughs> no vehicle maintenance needed. Uh, we totaled up 303.16. That's cool. And then we are at uh, 403. So, let's accept. Achievement unlocked. Every story has a beginning. Vehicle Garage. This is the Vehicle Garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. First, though, let's select your current vehicle so you can maintain it. Alright. Let's select it. This screen shows all the information you will need to keep track of your vehicle's performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle and get it ready for the next contract by selecting... The maintenance button. Maintenance. It is important to keep your vehicles well maintained and fixed. Idly, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling the fuel tank. Ah, oh, touch my eyeball with that one. And fixing any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle to the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, see it to it now before returning to the contract map via left and right. Now what made touching my eyeball worse is that it just had hot wings that I was eating with my hands. And uh, just atomic hot wings from Wingstop. Ooh. Luckily I don't eat them with the back of my hand. Except for that one time, which is today. <sighs> no. Got it right with the fingertip there. So that one just kind of burnt. Alright. Repair. Full repair. 50. Blades. Full repair. 60. And fuel. 220. Alright. You're all ready and set to go. Back to the map. Kingsbury House. Only have like nine minutes left. Chances are I'm not going to finish this one. Uh, select me as the employee. That is the vehicle. This is the equipment. And let us confirm. Well, our cutting height between six and seven centimeters. Completion target is 99.5. Uh, recommended cut time. 
three, we get a four minute check. Definitely not saying and doing all this just to burn away time. It's not what's happening right now. I don't know why you would even think that. Conspiracy theorist out there. I should probably put my glasses back on. I can see I like this distance. Like, I can use my computer without my glasses from right here because I can see things that are going on. The thing is, is like after a while of not wearing my glasses, I start to get a headache right here because my eyes are trying to focus because I can see the monitor, but the space around the monitor and outside from these angles are blurry. So my eyes go, don't worry, we got this. They don't, unfortunately. Oh, we gotta do the yard check. Go like that. What else you got for me out here, huh? It's the alarms. Purge is about to start. Whatever that was. Shinbu. That's newspaper in Japanese. Of the Japanese I know. Shinbu. And, uh, Misu, which is water. And then, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. That's about as much Japanese as I know. So if I ever run into somebody, if I ever go to Japan, I can get myself some water. I can get myself a newspaper that I cannot read. And uh, I can thank somebody named Mr. Roboto. I think I'll be plenty set to go to Japan. They'll love me out there. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're gonna start. My engine's gonna, gonna lift that up. Yeah, put the art to torque up. Uh, we said between 6 and 7, so we're at 7. We're gonna go to 6, though. Uh, we're gonna do Q. Lower these down. And... Start. Focus on one side of the yard. Yeah, there we go. Do our best not to hit the flowers. Try to damage something just there. And get this angle just right. There we go. Damage the yawn, lawn, yawn, the lawn a bit. Do we really need an organization? Is this just me being, uh, being picky? Yeah, alright. There we go. Excited because. The next couple of days, I don't have to go to work. 
on my days off. And uh, I'm going to be using those days off to complete, possibly complete, Dynasty Warriors Gundam on the Xbox 360. I am hoping to finish that. I would like to get all the trophies for Dynasty Warriors. I think it's going to take some doing though because there's one trophy on there where I have to get all the skills for one pilot. I don't know how to do that. So we're going to see. I have to probably look up how that's supposed to be done. And uh, go about trying to get all the trophies. I want to be that person who 100% games. Who just platinums a game on PlayStation, who gets 100% achievements on Xbox games. I have never been that kind of person. There's sometimes where I will aim for them. I will aim for that goal part of the game. Because, like, I'm just trying to play the game. I just want to do the story or fool around and do whatever else. If I happen to get the achievement for something, fine. Cool. If I don't, that's okay, too. There are very few games I have 100% completed on Steam, though. All of them, Telltale games. The trophies and getting things like that in that game, that game is, uh, is, is pretty easy. It's just making a decision. You have to either like find something while you're looking around, or choose this decision over that decision. So it's kind of like playing the games again, but you don't have to play the whole game over again. All you do is... Uh, pick and choose or you can start at a different chapter the, the later chapter instead of going from the very beginning Oh, wait, I did 100% achievement a game on the Xbox 360. WWE's Legends of WrestleMania. I did get that 100%. I aimed for it, too. Like, I went, looked for what the trophies were, and uh, <laughs> actually played the game to get those trophies. And then during the pandemic, I decided, hey, any game that I play, I'm going to 100% it. And I never kept that promise to myself. Ooh, I ran over as a flower. I think it's okay, though. It was just with the wheel. The flower should recover. There goes the timer. Just as I thought, I would not finish this. And I don't really care to finish it. So I'm going to stop now. We'll just, uh, we'll do the final words here. So I'm going to give this game a mid. And the only reason I'm giving it a mid is not because it's a bad game. It's just not my kind of game. Um... I don't find entertainment in it, really. 
I don't find it relaxing. Like I played Power Wash Simulator, and that was fun. I did like doing that. That I liked. And this is kind of a similar game to Power Wash Simulator. It's a simulator game, just that you're kind of driving around on a lawnmower and cleaning up the lawn and things like that. It's not a bad game. It's not for me. That's the whole reason that mid is around. So would I recommend it to somebody else? No. That's, that's what mid is. Um, do I see myself playing this game and doing a podcast in the background? I don't either. Power Wash Simulator, that was kind of a thing. As a matter of fact, I think Markiplier did that. Or did a couple videos of that where they were just playing Power Wash Simulator and just like talking with friends and other YouTubers and things like that. And that was neat to watch. I don't think they he does it anymore. I mean, other than his uh, spicy content, I uh, don't know what else he's been up to. He comes up in the recommendations every so often. Uh, for video game playing, that's that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, game's not bad. Don't see myself playing it again. I know there's others out there who like these kinds of games and who enjoy it. More power to you. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.